Hi, in this tutorial, I will demonstrate how to create three dependent spinners and load corresponding image from localhost in a second activity on button press using Android Studio and Java. We will be using Volley library to talk to the server and Glide library to load the image in image view. You can use any image link on the internet as well. So are you ready? Let's get started. By the end of this video, you will be able to do this. If you want to master Android apps and games development, then click subscribe and the bell icon and let's do this together. Open the project MySQL to Android Spinner. Upgrade the project. Just click Run Selected Steps. Make sure Apache and MySQL is running in XAMPP control panel. Open your browser and type localhost forward slash php myadmin to access the MySQL database. Write SQL query for creating a table called images and add image underscore id, image underscore path, country underscore id, city underscore id and location underscore id. Image underscore ID will be primary key and auto increment. Write insert into SQL query to insert some image file names along with country ID, city ID and location ID. Next, check the images that we will be using in this project. Copy the images and paste in C, XAMPP, HDDocs, Android, Images folder. Write a SQL query to create a table called location that contains location underscore id as primary key auto increment, location underscore name as varchar and city underscore id as integer.
insert some locations in location table. Press the Go button to execute the query. Double check the country, city and location IDs in images table. Open your code editor because we will be writing a PHP script to populate locations for a corresponding city. I am using brackets. I will put a link for downloading brackets in description. Include the connection file con.php. If dollar underscore gate within brackets within single quotes ct underscore name is set then we will write a SQL query to select location ID and location name where ct name equals to the value that we are getting from Android. By the way I am using a subquery here to get the city ID from city name. You can echo an error message if the query is not successfully executed. This helps in debugging. Else meaning if the SQL query has been successfully executed, get the result set and store in result variable. Check if at least one record has been returned, create a new array loop through the result set and push location underscore id and location underscore name in return underscore error array.
convert this array return underscore arr into json by calling json underscore encode method and passing this array and return the json from this page oops this should be fetch underscore array create another php script show underscore image dot php that receives country underscore name city underscore name and location underscore name Write a SQL query to get image underscore path from this country name, city name and location name. Again, I am using subquery to get the country ID from country name and so on. Remember that string literals or string values should be inside single quotes. Watch very carefully how I am using the single quotes and double quotes pair to accomplish the task. and return image underscore path that is the full image name back to android go to activity underscore main dot xml and add a third spinner for location and a submit button.
create a layout resource file to show the corresponding image in second activity called show. Here add an image view and assign ID IV show. Go to main activity and define an array list called location list to hold the locations for a corresponding city. Declare an adapter for location. This adapter creates a bridge between data source in our case location list and the spinner object. Declare a button object reference. Declare spinner location. Get the handle for spinner location by calling find view by id and passing the spinner id as parameter. Get the handle for btn submit. Attach on item selected listener with spinner city as we will be using spinner city to populate all the locations for that city. Attach on click listener with btn submit. In onClick, get the values of all the three spinners in strings. Instantiate an intent object. Put above values in it as extra.
and launch second activity called show with the intent. After calling start activity, you can also call finish method to close main activity. Copy the if block. If a city in spinner city is selected, the if condition becomes true. First, clear the location list. Get the selected city and store in a string. Construct and store the URL in a string. Remember, you have to pass city underscore name in key value pairs after question mark. Since we are sending an array in JSON format from populate underscore location dot php, we are storing the response in a JSON array. Change city to location in object names very carefully. This should be array adapter and not array list. Right click on the package new java class. Extend app compact activity. Override on create. Declare an image view and a request queue object reference. Set the content view of this activity with activity underscore show dot XML. Instantiate request queue. Get the values from Received Intent. Get the handle for image view. We will show the image here. Construct the URL.
pass country, city and location names as key value pairs and save it in a string. Create a string request object. Override on response. Add dependency for Glide library and synchronize the project. As response from show underscore image dot php, we are getting the full image file name. In on response, load the image from C, XAMPP, HTDocs. Android images folder into image view with glide library. Don't forget to add string request to request queue. Go to manifest and add an activity tag for show. We don't need intent filter for this activity. Let's run the app to check the output. Three spinners populated properly. Change location Indian Museum Kolkata. Alright. Vidya Sagar Setu. Perfect. If you find this tutorial useful, please like and share the video and subscribe to my channel for more tutorials like this.